Hey babes, it's Tuller Tot and welcome back to the channel. So today we are reacting to Lana Del Rey's new single. Well, it's kind of new, but like not that new, but I'll get into that. Um, but anyway, the single A and W and I'm super excited. I have some theories already about what the song is going to be about. We're here for this shit. Um, but I honestly was trying to wait to react to the song till Lana's new album came out, but you see it was supposed to come out on march 10th and like it doesn't come out now until march 24th and i can't wait that long because i've been i've literally been waiting since valentine's day to react to the song so we're gonna just go ahead and react to it since we have a delay in the album release which is fine um but like your girl needs like some lana in her life so we're gonna go ahead and listen to it and yeah we're gonna react to this shit i have theories that the song since it's called A&W, it makes me think of like root beer you've got a big storm coming I'm thinking it's gonna be about like this man who drinks root beer and it was released on Valentine's Day so I'm trying to like decide if it's gonna be like good vibes or dark vibes with Lana I'm assuming it's probably dark vibes like something happened on Valentine's Day and like this man was drinking like A&W and like that was like his signature like drink and like that A&W like reminds her of this man or like if we want to go like the positive way like maybe A&W is like his favorite drink and she's so in love with him because it's valentine's day but like knowing lana it's probably not that option um but yeah we're gonna go ahead and react to it i'm super ready and i'm so ready for her album to come out um we'll definitely be reacting to that when it comes out but anyways without further ado let's get into the video and react to a and w her single off the album all right here we go a and w let's get into it i also have the lyrics pulled up because I never can understand what people are saying. Alright. Getting some beautiful piano. Some beautiful guitar in the background. I'm feeling like this one's gonna be sad, y'all. Alright, just from those opening lines, I haven't done a cartwheel since I've been nine. I haven't seen my mother in a long, long time. It's giving sad girl shit. Like, it's giving um, that it's not going to be happy. Y'all, I'm confused. The lyrics say, go and walk her into my bedroom, and then we f*** the hotel floor. <laughs> Bitch, what? <laughs> what the f***? It's not about having anyone love me any anymore. This is the experience of an American whore. Lana, are you the whore? I'm does she think that people think she's an American whore? Do people think Lana Del Rey is an American whore? I'm confused, because I never thought that. Am, am I like out the loop? I'm, that just took me really off guard. Okay, I need to keep listening. Dude, this is some sad girl shit, I'm telling you. Lana? Oh, this is really sad actually this is not what i thought the song was gonna be about y'all this shit was released on valentine's day i thought this was just gonna be about you know i thought it would still be dark but i thought it was gonna be more about a man but this just seems like it's about lana and herself and the fact that she released this on valentine's day and she's saying all these like really dark things about herself and how you know how did she end up like this she used to watch she used to be so innocent doing cartwheels you know watching you know the diary of a teenage girl she's thinking she's an american whore like i'm not sure she released this on Valentine's Day, which is like the day of love. Does that mean like she doesn't love herself anymore? Like, I'm confused. Also, Sorry, I didn't look at how long the song was before I started reacting to it, but it's actually like a seven minute song. This is about it really, this is gonna make me f sobbing, I swear to God. Oh my God. That was like a very like serious line. I don't even know if like how to unpack that line, but Lana, 
are you okay like seriously there's so much going on in the song and now i'm starting to get really sad because sexual assaults happen to women and you know if if people look at them as you know a, a whore or a slut you know it's like it's like well you were asking for it and it's like well no one's ever asking for it men just suck what i can say is that women are never asking for it doesn't matter what the hell a woman wears or what she looks like it's just like how men view women I'm not saying all men i'm referring to like a bigger like theme of men and you know an overall idea it's not all men it's just some men i need to stop ranting let's get back to the song <laughs> Looking like a side piece at 33. Oh my god. Anna. Wait. Sorry. I know this is really sad, but I just had an epiphany. A and W stands for, I think it might stand for American Whore. I just figured that out. Sorry, I'm a little slower than most, but um, I think that I figured that out just now. And totally masking it with the A&W had me <laughs> thrown off. This is genius. Okay, I'm gonna keep listening. Ooh, this beat in the back though. It's, it's kind of fitting. Okay, we're bringing in some snare drum and like some heavy bass in the background. Love that. Oh, what was that? sound effects and like this beat is giving me like trippiness vibes like maybe someone took something and kind of just like lost in the sauce like brains all over the place i don't know if that made any sense but it's the vibes I'm getting. oh my god okay wait hold up she just said jimmy jimmy coco puff jimmy jimmy ride jimmy jimmy coco puff get me high Y'all, I swear to God, I literally just said that it felt like someone just took something and that they were tripping. And she's saying, get me high. Her music speaks volumes. Like, <sighs> such a f queen. Okay, that's really sad, though. I don't like Jimmy, Lana. He's a user. We don't like him. I hate that it's catchy, but it is. Oh my goodness. Dude, like, it's just really sad to think, like, that, you know, she's 33 and, like, she values herself this way. It's like society has painted out these, like, ideas of, like, what people are. And I don't really think truly anyone's like that. I think there's always, like, reasoning behind everything. Whether it's, like, trauma or it's, like, you know, f for a lot of celebrities, like, the fame gets to them. Um, you know, and the more privacy, it's a huge um, lifestyle change. Like how she's kind of say, Jimmy only loved me when he want to get high. You never know if like someone's using you or if they actually like want to be with you, which is really sad. I went into the shit being like, oh, like I think like this man's going to drink Aiden W and it's either going to be like, you know, dark or positive and you know, so but this is not, this is not what I th thought. This was not about root beer, bitch. This was about like, an American whore, which I don't think she's an American whore. It really sucks, like, to have people who, like, use people. I just don't like that. Lana, please, if this whole album is gonna be like this, I'm gonna be sobbing, um, by, like, track number four. But anyways, I'm gonna stop ranting. I, I need to go listen to the song again because I'm in love with it, honestly, and I'm really excited for this album. March 24th cannot come fast enough for me. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, y'all. If you made it to the end of the video, you're sexy and beautiful, and I appreciate you for watching it. Subscribe if you want to. It really helps out my channel, and I appreciate everyone who has been subscribing in the past few weeks. I hope that y'all have a lovely day or a beautiful night, and I'm gonna go sob over there um, in the corner, and I'll catch y'all later. Later, babes.